before we can make anything, we take the roll of carbon out of the freezer and we have to defrost it to room temperature, which takes about six hours. And from there, we can put it onto the cutting table and start cutting out the, the plies of carbon. The beauty of this material, it's very clean to work with and the mix ratios are always perfect. So you always know the part is going to cure. The parts are made from multiple layers of uh, carbon fibre fabric. It's all depending on the structural requirements of, the, of each of the parts. This comes from the designers and engineers. If you look around, you'll see some moulds here, so it gives us the shape of the boat. So first of all, the, uh, the layers are put against the mould, and they have to be pressurised with a vacuum bag, which holds them in place while we put the sandwich material in, and then we put the other layers on top of the sandwich, and that's all held together in place with a big vacuum bag. Basically, you put a plastic bag over it and suck all the air out with a vacuum pump. This is then pushed into the autoclave, which is our cooking vessel. It's basically a pressure pot. Under pressure of uh, five, up to five bars for some of the components, and that's equivalent to uh, 51 tons per square meter. Uh, the autoclave is used extensively in the aerospace industry, but not so much in the marine industry. The other components like the beams and the uh, traveller track, which is a track that controls the sail, they are produced from single laminates. There is no core, they are solid laminates of up to six millimetres thick of multiple layers of uh, carbon. Each of the layers are about 0.3 of a millimetre thick, so we need lots of layers. And for that to work, we have to really press those layers together. The entire boat sailing is under 500 kilos, which includes everything, completely uh, mass rigging sails, everything ready to sail is less than 500 kilos for a 32-foot boat carrying five guys around the racetrack. So it's pretty impressive. <laughs>